Hi everyone and welcome to Tommy's Universe. Welcome back for another episode of Tommy's Universe and so this is a pretty cool episode of talking about what is new in Jody's TARDIS. That's right. So we have the new series called The Flux has returned. And so if I've got some pictures I'm going to show you now. And um, first off, first episode, we have seen Jody and Yaz land inside the TARDIS on a bed so that we know the doctor sleeps that's good I don't know where um, what's happened to the bedrooms must have uh, disappeared because the TARDIS is must be having a bad day so far and um, also some really cool interesting thing is they have this this arch that I've never seen before in any of the Doctor Who Jodie's era so far. The TARDIS has this arch, like a, some like truss type of chrome type of look to it, to the entrance before the console. So we might see more of that. I don't know what that's a bit different than normal. Uh, what else there is? There's also on one of the uh, crystals that's surrounding the console, those big orange crystals, we have this uh, um, this console section, like, a, like um, there's a handle on the bottom, there's some buttons there, and some tubes coming out of either side of it, and that's on each of the crystals going around the TARDIS, um, around the console. So that's so, so something new for the TARDIS. Uh, what else we have? We have um, something that's really, really sad to see. The TARDIS looks like it's having a really bad day. And it's sort of leaking this black of fluid on the floor. And it looks looks either really, really cold or really hot because some uh, steam is coming from it. And it looks like it's leaking from the ceiling from the, one of those crystals. This black goo should we say so that doesn't look really healthy what else we have um, we uh, have the TARDIS not behaving itself when you go back into it it keeps creating another doorway or another door so it, it was either on the wall a bit crooked and then it was on the floor again up, upside down or oh God knows what um, so that's the TARDIS and we got to see the TARDIS is soul i call it like what we saw when rose tyler turned into the bad wolf yeah so the heart of the tardis is beams of goldness came beaming out towards that we think is called the flux big disaster that's happening around the universe and it sort of did nothing to it so that was a bit of a waste of time for the doctor but hey there were some interesting scenes. I liked my favourite part was when we have a new character called Dan, played by John Bishop, Yaz and the Doctor, just opening the doors and looking at the universe around it. I think that it was a much beautiful scene. I really love those scenes that 
Peter Capaldi had quite a few of them and Matt Smith but um, this one was pretty cool you got to see the depth of the TARDIS and you got to see the whole universe around it so quite a few things happened in that episode I'm going to try and keep um, looking at what the TARDIS is doing I'm not trying to give anything away I don't like doing reviews or anything like that it's all about positivity and it's all about what's new for the TARDIS well that's it for this episode it's goodbye from me Tommy TARDIS I will see you next time in the future <laughs>